name's Jerry with HaveFunWithScience.com. And in today's demonstration, we're going to extinguish a fire by making CO2 gas. Since this demonstration involves lighting matches, it is important to do it under adult supervision. And when performing this demonstration, it is important that the top of the candle be below the opening of the jar. Modeling clay and a birthday candle work great, but any candle will work just fine as long as it is short enough to be under the opening of the jar. In order for the flame to burn, it needs to be in an oxygen-rich environment. Take away the oxygen and the fire will be extinguished. Notice that the flame on the candle is healthy. There is plenty of oxygen inside the jar. Now watch what happens when I add vinegar to the baking soda. The fire goes out. And the fire goes out because there's no longer enough air in the jar to keep the fire burning. So why does that happen? Well, the baking soda is sodium bicarbonate, and that is the base. And the vinegar is an acid. And when you combine a base and an acid together, they try to neutralize each other or cancel each other out. And while they are neutralizing each other, a chemical reaction takes place. In this case, the sodium bicarbonate of the baking soda breaks down into CO2 gas and fills the glass jar with carbon dioxide. And since there's carbon dioxide instead of oxygen in the jar, the fire goes out because the fire cannot burn on CO2 gas. It needs the oxygen.